So Pixar Pier just opened and we were there just a couple of days later. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys through this new land. This isn't going to be much like our other tour videos because I'm not going to go through all the history. I'll just point out a couple of things, mostly some logistics that you need to know about to really find your way through the land effectively. But with that said, let's go ahead and step inside this fun new area. Let's start more toward the back here with the games of Pixar Pier, formerly the games of the Boardwalk. Essentially, the four games are exactly the same. In fact, one of them has been untouched, but now they're all Pixar themed. Uh, you get your cards to play the games, either at the kiosk that you saw at the beginning of this clip or at the one at the far end here. Either one. This one does tend to be a little bit less busy because I don't think people notice it as much. This is kind of like the heart and soul of Pixar Pier right here. However, it's still not finished. From here, I mean, you get to see the stage where the Pixar Monarch Orchestra plays sometimes, but beyond that, you'll see the early vestiges of Bing Bong Sweet Stuff, the new candy store that's going to be opening up. And beyond that is where Inside Out Headquarters is going to be, but it's not yet done, and that's not going to be done until next year. So there's still a big purple wall up. But this is where you get the entrance to the new Pixar Pal Around. As you move on from the back, you're going to pass the new Angry Dog stand, have some spicy hot dogs. And you'll also come to, of course, Toy Story Midway Mania. It's got a new paint job. They also redid the layout of the line a little bit so that now the line does not directly go in front of Mr. Potato Head. So now everyone does. So it works a little bit better. I know he's turned off here in this clip, but he actually was on every other time we went past and it works better. I know I've said it a million times, but I really love the new color scheme on Toy Story Midway Mania. However, this little chicken shop here is my only non-favorite part of Pixar Pier. I think it's a bit of an eyesore, but the rest of it looks really, really cool, and it all works together very visually well. Um, here behind this wall, this is where the Jesse's Critter Carousel is going to go. It is a nice little touch, though. If you look, they actually make it look like you know it's waiting for Al's Toy Barn to deliver it, but I don't know why it's going to take so long for a carousel to be delivered, but it's, it's not going to be around until next year. Fast passes are now distributed in the same place as they were for Toy Story Midway Mania, only now they're for both that ride and the Incredicoaster, so you just need to check the signage in the line before you get in and the signage on the machine. Because of the Incredicoaster, Incredibles Park is easily the busiest area in the land, which you can see in this clip. There's a fountain with an Incredibles insignia near the carousel where you can now meet all the Incredibles characters, which is cool, and by the exit of the coaster you can buy some Jack Jack Cookie Num Nums, which are delicious. Of course, you have to stick around just outside to watch the Incredicoaster take off, and it has a really cool water effect as it goes by as well, so you have to take the obligatory shot as it goes through. Near the main entrance of Pixar Pier, there's this awning that you'll see, and if you look closely at the awning in the metalwork, it's actually a bunch of outlines of Pixar characters from all different movies and shorts. It's really, really cool detail that I appreciate that they threw in there. Near this entrance is also where you're going to find the new restaurant, the Lamplight Lounge, which is pretty good. If you're a fan of the Cove Bar, you're especially going to love it, though it has some really good food as well, just as in the normal restaurant. Also, the main storage is Nick's Snacks, themed after the Pixar short Nick Knacks. So there's a good little overview of Pixar Pier. Uh, you can also find some other walkthroughs we did in the highlights on our Instagram page and also a live video that we did on our Facebook page. Make sure you follow us there for other updates as well. And in the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe to get more videos like this one. I'll do a more proper tour later when Pixar Pier is all finished next year. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. All right, bye.